Colombians voted no to the first peace deal signed by President Juan Manuel Santos and Marxist FARC rebel leader Rodrigo Londono last month. So they've signed another peace deal. Many Colombians rejected the first because it wouldn't have jailed FARC leaders who committed crimes like kidnappings and massacres and would have allowed them to hold political office. In his speech, President Santos acknowledged the rejection but didn't dwell on not holding a second referendum. This new generation, which will build the Colombia of tomorrow, has asked us to give them a country, a different country from the one we inherited, he said. A country where violence and death are not commonplace, a country free of chains and hatred, and where we all have a right to live. A la vida, a la tranquilidad, a ser felices. Y admiración. Then Londono spoke of his admiration for the thousands of compatriots who took to the streets, squares and villages to protest against the war. He said they showed their support for the fundamentals of the final accord and had called on all those involved in the negotiations to not stop until there was a definitive agreement. Both leaders desperately want to see an end to the 52-year-old civil war which has killed more than 220,000 and displaced millions more. But the former president Alvaro Uribe was the one who led the push to reject the first deal and there will be anger that Santos is sidestepping the people and sending the deal straight to Congress for ratification.